This is question number 20, and we are told a forest is enclosed by four strained boundaries A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. Point B is 25 kilometers on a bearing of 315 uh, from A. C is directly south of B and on a bearing of 260 from A. So A and D is A from A and D is 30 kilometers on a bearing of 210 degrees from C. Using s the scale of 1 is to 5000, represent the information on a scale drawing, and you get three, cent three marks. So first of all, we look at this scale. Uh, this means that uh, you divide by you divide by uh, 100, then 1,000, it means 1 centimeter represents uh, 5 kilometers. The best approach here is first of all to make a sketch and then we can draw our actual diagram here. So you start with the point B, it's 25 kilometers. On a, so we, we start from here, uh, that means uh, this will be 315 or it is the same as 45 degrees uh, so this is our A so this will be 5 centimeter because 1, cent one centimeter represents 5 kilometers then we come to B so this is our point B and we are told C is south of uh, directly south of B on a bearing of 260 so you measure an angle of 260 this is where you have you get our C and D is 30 kilometers on a bearing of 210 from C so here you come and say measure an angle of 210 and this is where we have D there you measure 6, six centimeter and then you can join our line A so we have A, B, C and D that will be our diagram so here we need a protractor and uh, a ruler to do that uh, let's start with the ruler uh, we, we, let's have a ruler here and we have a protractor here so we we'll start by measuring uh, an angle of uh, we are told this is uh, so from here uh, uh, from 90 here so we can mark here this is our start this is our point A we can measure an angle of uh, we can first of all make a make, make a line here uh, let's let's make a line using the ruler uh, so let's use a ruler here so that is our line here then uh, we can mark where we want our diagram to start from there a bit technical. Uh, we measure an angle of uh, uh, measure an angle of let's measure an angle of uh, uh, line so we have so here we measure an angle of line and uh, trying to do here is to measure an angle of uh, to make a compass here is to make a compass so we can come and uh, have our ruler there this is our our ruler and we make a compass so that we will be able to measure the angle so that is our compass uh, from there we are going to measure 
uh, angle 45 from here so that we measure an angle of 40, uh, an angle of 315 uh, so that angle so we come here and uh, balance our 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 compass here so this is where we have angle 45 this is where we have angle 45 so with that uh, we use a ruler to get uh, we use a ruler to be able to get that distance so we can now come and say uh, let's adjust this we come and say this is where we have our point and we want to measure an angle of 45 so that's what we have uh, then we can now uh, say so these are five these are five uh, we can draw a line like that and then we will be able to mark where we have and the point an angle of uh, measure an angle we want 260 so you just measure an angle of an angle of 10 degrees from the waist that is from the waist uh, so you can come here and uh, 10 degrees so that the angle here because up to here it is it is uh, 270 that is where we get our our mark once you get that, then uh, you use a ruler to, to be able to connect that point. So that is where we have our point and we connect that. So with that, we can now be able. And uh, so we can be able to locate the position of C. Uh, the position of C, it is direct. This, is, this angle is 270. Uh, so this is where we have our C uh, so we also have D is 30 kilometers on a bearing of 210 from C so what we do here is we measure an angle of uh, that is 90 so at C 
let's see whether we will be able to we are we are told it is 210 so we can be able to measure can use this line here you from C we uh, it is 210 so this means that from 270 we remove an angle of 60 we remove an angle of 60 uh, so that is 60 uh, so this is where we have our point D uh, so we can now join our we can now join our point D here and we join to C so that is how you uh, get point D so this is uh, point D and then we can now join we can now join our D our, our D with A and we have come up with the forest so that's how uh, that's not correct so that's how you get so this means that uh, this is our point D uh, so the forest is A B C D and you know the other lines that are in between or you can just uh, you can just remove it so we have uh, uh, so that is the forest so that is how you go about so you must be able to uh, to use your compass and uh, that is your protractor and the ruler to be able to come up with you must be able you decide you you must be able to measure these angles now with that guideline uh, we are supposed to measure uh, you are supposed to measure the distance in kilometer from D uh, from of D from A so this distance if you do it correctly uh, you should be able to get uh, 8.7 uh, centimeter you multiply by 5 and that should give you 43 43.5 uh, that is plus or my kilometers plus or minus 0 0.5 so that is the distance uh, the bearing of D uh, of A from D you should be able to put your protractor here and measure this angle that angle here so you measure that angle you'll be able to get the bearing and if you do it correctly uh, you should be able to get uh, zero point uh, not zero point but zero four eight degrees or you can say north uh, 48 degrees to the east so that is a bearing uh, from that we go to part C calculate the area correct to one decimal place of the forest in square kilometers so you can get the area by calculating the calculating the the area of this triangle triangle so you know this angle for example this angle you know it is uh, 260 that is from here it is this is 90 plus uh, 80 that is 140 so if you calculate the area of this triangle you should get a total area of uh, 387.25 kilometers squared so that's how you go about it it's a bit technical but uh, using the computer but if you do it correctly you should be able to get this answer and that's how you go about that question.